Hi, this is Eric, the voice of Stumblefoot, Graham Walker on Supersonic Pod Comics, and now the Chief Sage of Fun at Sage's Portal. I am super excited to tell you all about Sage's Portal. Our store has been open for just a few months now, and we are really starting to see some growth, and that's thanks to you. Our website is up and running, and it's the best place to find all of our products. Just go to www.sagesportal.com and start shopping our selection of acrylic, resin, metal, and semi-precious gemstone dice. You can also find us on eBay and Etsy. We've just added dice bags to our inventory, and we'll be adding even more accessories in the very near future. And if you live in the U.S., then Sage's Portal is offering you free shipping on your purchases. Sage's Portal is continually adding new products to our already great selection. If you want to stay up to date on our new releases, or if you just like looking at pictures and videos of dice, then be sure to follow us on our social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Thanks again for supporting Sage's Portal. Now, back to Playing Games with Strangers. And now we cut to Pooh's spirit. <laughs> oh, I, I could go for some honey right about now. <laughs> is, there, is there any honey in this gym? Is that you? No, that's not. <gasps> Keith, it's so good to see you. <laughs> How did you get here? <laughs> You know, we were wondering what happened to you, Keith. That's canon now. I'd ask you for a back massage, but I don't seem to have my back with me right now. So, and, and you don't seem to have the rest of you. Oh, yes, it's a, it's a little, little dark, but putting some curtains there and um, maybe some shiplap over there, and it'll be very nice. Uh, you know, we could remove this wall and uh, make it very open concept, and then we'd then we'd have something really going for us. You know what we could use over here is some um, mahogany cabinets and maybe a little bit of uh, some greenery here, maybe some lemons on the countertop. Just, I mean, there's not really a countertop there right now, but I can imagine it. I can see it. You gotta use your mind and in the soul space. That's what, what do you think, Keith? 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 <laughs> I, I love that Keith is there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poor Keith. I I'm upset that Jade has got Keith's soul. <laughs> it's unfortunate for him. <laughs> so we summon him into existence again. Oh yes, French doors. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Maybe on one of those tracks that, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. leather bound books. Oh, yes, I could see. Oh, we're back. Four, three, two, one. Playing games with strangers. You know there's no danger. So come on in. We are friends. Playing games with strangers. like in my head praying this just so you know not out loud because that would be really awkward as i'm walking in this house uh, but i will i will um in my head just wilder said that you cared and that apparently we have a misunderstanding but i'm gonna fix my mistakes and yours are your own to fix but know that I've waited for your help for years, and it was never there. And I will walk in the house. Uh, as you start walking towards the house, you feel a hand grab you by the shoulder. I will, like, instinctively to stop shrug you. it off. Just, yeah, people touching uh, me. Oh, my gosh. Make make a strength oh, no. check on that. Great strength. That was a natural 20. <laughs> Dang. Let me see what oh, my modifier yeah. is. <laughs> my 
like she swings it. him around and throws him back towards the cave he's supposed strength, to strength strength save or just a check uh check uh so 21 21 yeah you pull your shoulder out of his uh oh i mean i'll look to see what it is but hand. it's very much just like oh someone's touching me i don't like that okay uh yeah it's it's your dad what you called me yeah i said what i was saying i i'm gonna go fix some things now you want to join this me? is not how you fix this is not how you fix things you have no idea what she is about to do to you well that's why we're gonna sit down and have a lovely conversation come to a terms we're gonna write out a contract i'm gonna read every word there is no contract in how she deals you make the agreement and then it's done yeah, well, you made the agreement out here you were going in for payment i am keeping you alive <laughs> well no you're really not are you you know, what do you want from me? You you call me. What saying, do you want? Fix this. I'm not asking you to fix things. I was asking why you were never there in the beginning, but clearly you're not understanding what I'm saying. So that's why Elder said there's big misunderstanding. I'm trying to fix something. This fixes nothing. Then what will? All this does is take. All this does is takes Pooh's head off the chopping block and puts yours in its place. Well, no one much cares about mine, so. No one cares about yours. And he looks over at Wilder. Does that sound legit? Wilder walked away. So. What? We aren't exactly being quiet no. here either. <laughs> Wait. What? Somebody. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. What did you say? I said this one here says no one seems to care about him. Does that sound right to you? No, he's he's got a load of people that care about him, including me. And at this point, he can just do whatever he wants. I, you know what? You're his dad. You fix it because I can't. I've tried. Callum, you need to understand that the reason why you are so alone is because you push everybody away who tries to care for you. Exactly what he said. All right. I mean, Pooh literally sold his soul to keep you and everybody and I'm else trying safe. to fix it. This is not how you fix that. You don't put your soul on the block to save somebody else's. Pooh did. Oh, so we're going to just assume that Pooh's a member of Menza now? I don't understand that reference. Is he the smartest bugbear? No, but he's one that actually cared about me, so... I'm doing what I can. Really? What? Wouldn't have known it the way you talk about him. Yeah, well. Again, you push everybody away. Who cares about you? I've re-approached Callum and the Keeper. Uh, yeah, well, I didn't have to push you away. Because you were never there. No, you never let me in in the first place. I prayed to you when I was a kid and you never showed up. And I know my mom did too. So don't blame me for the fact that you didn't ever come back to see her. Because even when I didn't care. I know she did. Now, I, I said I wasn't going to get involved, but <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're dead here. Um, feels so weird to say that. Um, he mentioned that he can't be any place where he's not wanted. So either... You didn't want him there, whether you were praying or not, or your your mom didn't want him there. So, I, I'm assuming that's something that is out of his uh, realm of ability, has no control over that, and you're just being a brat. Now, if you want my advice, and you can tell me to screw off like you always do, but... Inside that hut there, you got a viable body. He looks over at Mary Pusang and says, A powerful body, too. What are you suggesting there? And 
she is also in possession of the article that you wanted in the first place. So maybe if you start thinking outside of her terms, you can find and uh, you can get ideas that don't necessarily go by the rules of the game that she's got you playing. You don't happen to have any more bots on you, do you? I'm I could use one right now. <laughs> Sorry, son, I'm fresh out. Here, I have a little something. I don't trust you as far as I can throw <laughs> poo. Oh, it's, it's poos. I don't. Not mine. I, these aren't my pockets, let's say. No, I know what's in his pockets, and I don't want that either. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the vial of wild magic. And I knew what it was. <laughs> I, I, and I was so down to do that. Well, looks like we're at a bit of an impasse then. I'm fine with whatever. Just so I get something a little... Uh, an upgrade, you know. A Callum, I'm going to leave this one up to you. Well, what, are, what are you going to do? Blame somebody for her own decisions. His own decisions. My bad. Oh, you, you, you struggle with that too. Well, Mar Mary said you were stupid, Mr. Keeper. Well, I did. I did say that. She may think I'm stupid, but I'm not the one who has to hitchhike in somebody else's body, so... Very I'm not the one who dresses up like a unicorn. We, we call it a daddy gourd. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning from the sky. <laughs> Uh, where is Dernan with popcorn when you need it? Oh my, gravy. <laughs> right? Here, I have a little something if you want. No, Put that back in Pooh's pocket. Nobody wants that. Unless Orbog wants more potatoes. Sure? Orbog? Orbog? No. Well, Callum, what are you going to do, dear? You know, you want her body, right? Oh, that would be... That would be something. I might even call the favor off at that point. So then what do I have to do to get it for you? I don't know. We'd have to do her in. Of course. All right. Let's do it. But if Callum goes inside, Callum dies. Yes? Again. Oh, there's ways to get her out here, I suppose. Well, then let's do that then. What happens if we tie rope around chicken legs? Do you like the AT, -AT walkers? Oh, now we're thinking. Now <laughs> we're like thinking. That. Look at you all. House is currently lowered right now. Yes. Yeah, she came out of it. What? Uh, That's what I thought. Yeah, I think the house did lower. <laughs> you guys notice as the sun's coming up, the house is starting to become a little bit translucent. Oh, no. Whoops. It's about that time of day. So, all right. What so do, what does this mean? I guess we all go in then. Well, shall we? After you? Well, maybe I should go last. That's probably a good idea. Callum and I will take up the rear. All right, Obog, get Rose. Mary, I would like to ask that you lead the way. I will follow with Obog. Dad, are you coming too? Do you want to watch this happen? Do you have any special abilities that you could do to help us out? Because I'm terrified right now. Um, well, once again, you know, going where I'm not wanted. I can promise you I am definitely not wanted in there. All right. I start I start walking forward towards towards the door. Oh, Jadis, darling, I think I have something that you might like. Let's talk. Give me a second. I am creating a battle map that I was not intending on having today. But it's okay, I'm having a you guys. having a mental breakdown. I didn't expect to have today. So, <laughs> what did you? I'm hosting to have a today? show that I wasn't supposed. To. <laughs> who all is who all is going in? Callum's gonna go I in think, last. I think everybody. Maybe Callum maybe shouldn't go in. Callum's gonna look at Dad before he goes in. Very much in a what do I do here kind of look. 
Oh, it's changed to that, to dad, dad. Should I, 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 should I go now? I didn't realize I this uh, conversation was going to be so intense. <laughs> right? I didn't either. <laughs> right? Squid's fingernails are never going to recover. <laughs> no, they're not. Squid, <laughs> squid opened, squid opened up a door by actually calling the keeper in. I'm having like a legitimate crisis at the moment. <laughs> The keeper turns you around, Callum, puts his hands on both your shoulders. He goes, we may both have our differences from time to time. And we don't always understand what happened in our past, but that doesn't have to dictate where our future goes. Now, I'm willing to work at this as long as you are, too. But I want you to know something. No matter what has happened or what does happen, you're always my boy. And I love you. And I've always been proud of you. Not touching. Great. They're going in the house. <laughs> and he just runs his finger down the center of your face. I go, I go to and sleep as... immediately. <laughs> like a tiny baby. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to create some scenery here and we're just going to yuck it up throughout the whole thing. That's how you put a baby to it's sleep. It's how we cope. It's how we cope. <laughs> but he runs his finger down your face and you feel something magic that was on you break. I start crying. <laughs> I don't... What? Pardon? And he just goes, gone now. You're going to be late to the party. Um, thank you. I go towards the house. All right. As you guys walk into a house, I need a marching order, please. I don't order, have any please. spell slots, guys. I haven't slept. I'm in the back. <laughs> I'm going to take a long rest. <laughs> <laughs> I need a marching order. I'm I very back. Back. I'll, I'll, it's I'll take first. Yeah, it's Mary, oh, no. Wilder, Orabog, and then yeah. Toki and Squid. Or, okay, <laughs> I don't want to be there. <laughs> I have Squid no skills in no a fight. Thank you. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> okay. This is just going to end up being a blank map because, you know, time and time. That's it. That's what I've got of that song. Yeah, buddy. Is on our side. No, it's yes, not. It is. Or not. Doesn't have to be. All right. As you guys walk into this house, uh, you basically step into what can only be described as a pocket dimension. There is nothing there except for what you know as Jade is to be standing in the middle of the room impatiently. And she looks at you, Callum, standing in the back, and she says, Oh, you brought friends. This was not a part of the bargain. They brought me. What are you going to do? All right, so, Orbog, you are up first. You just walked in there, and Jadis is standing there. Go, go, Gadget, Orbog. Uh, what'd you say? You go, <laughs> go, go, Gadget, Orbog. <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, Gadget or Bog. The best um, gadget to have. On my turn, can I, and and if I, if I, if I can move closer to, uh, can I, can I light and throw my dynamite? <laughs> I mean, sure. <laughs> I, Why not? Please do. I do want this body. Yeah. <laughs> you want her body? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Mary well, does want that body. <laughs> we can heal it. Don't worry. I have lesser restoration. Yes. In what form? Yeah. How many pieces? <laughs> How Ooh, much of the body do you want? Empty. Just, there's some over there. I, all of it? Some over there. Does it's it a tall order. The We're about to fight this lady. Piece it back together. I don't know hold person. That's not a spell that rangers get. You don't have any spells. I don't right have now. any spells. I don't have. I am useless in this fight. I'm not going to lie to you. Would I roll for dynamite? 
Wow. Okay. Um, roll a d20. Add your dex. I I am proficient in dynamite. <laughs> I believe I believe that. <laughs> I, I also believe that statement. That che- <laughs> that checks out. It's so I would simple. Assume, I would assume that Orbog is proficient in simple and martial. Throwing. Yeah. Well, are you proficient in anything ranged or just martial? It doesn't say that, but it does say simple. Well, if you're proficient okay. in simple weapons, then uh, you should be. Oh, for the love of Mike. It, it's enough to hit already, people. <laughs> hey. Listen, we're just trying to figure out how proficient Dynamite Orbog is. How many D100s um, do I roll? All of them. You don't, actually. <laughs> um, 17. I know she's going to stop it and nothing's going to happen. Blah, blah, blah. Spoiler alert. You do. No, you do. It's a 3D6. Ooh. Okay. okay, well, altogether ten. Uh, so you throw the stick of dynamite at her, and it, ex- it explodes. And as the smoke clears, she's just standing there, noiselessly chuckling to herself. Some damage was done to her, but not as much as you would have expected from a stick of dynamite. She looks at you and goes, "Idiot, half breed." I am Jadis. I am eternal. You cannot kill with mere explosives. Do you forget who you are? Is that why you talk about yourself all the time? Callum, it is your turn. I am gonna... be upset. (laughs) I would like to take my action to be angry. (laughs) Um, Roll for sadness. I'm gonna look at her and say... Yeah, well, I'm a half-breed, too, and guess also kind of immortal, so get bent, witch, and I'm gonna shoot an arrow at her. (laughs) You shoot that arrow. I will. I will shoot that arrow with my plus one ammunition. What is a 16 to hit? 16 total? 16 total. That is correct. Yeah, you shoot this arrow, and she throws her hand up and knocks it aside. I'm upset and I'm gonna shoot another one. Okay. (laughs) I repeat my really cool line of dialogue. 19 to hit. 19 hits. Oh, good. I I can't Hunter's Marker because I'm broken. Six. Six uh, damage. Yeah. And it's You hit her with this arrow. I think technically I don't know, is plus one ammunition magical, but it, it counts, yeah. We've established that. I couldn't remember for the life of me. Well if you let me finish my descriptor, oh, I could carry I on. Have heard in it this seems to have done more damage than the dynamite did when this hits and she looks at you angered. And she goes, you bore, you bore me. <laughs> we have an arrangement. Now give it to me. Come on, take it. And she, if you want her to. eyes become an ink, Sorry. her eyes become an inky void uh, imbued with dread power. And I need you to make a wisdom saving throw, please. I almost just rolled my D8 for that. Not helpful. <laughs> Fourteen plus seventeen wisdom saving throw. Ah, dang it! You made me burn that spell slot. I don't <laughs> think I... what I'm a wise I... boy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Burning yeah. spell slots. Uh, you feel you feel some power try to come upon you, but you just kind of shake it off and you, you feel you feel the keeper just kind of like nope we're not gonna have that today he does and care. you're fine not what Callum thinks <laughs> and it is Wilder's turn yeah I'm just going to throw my adamantine dagger okay 19. 19 hits. 
Jeez, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Uh, so that'd be eight piercing. Uh, it hits, but again, not as much damage as you would expect it to. And she looks at you and goes, foolish mortals. You cannot kill Jadis with your primitive weapons. All right. Uh, I'm going to stay there. That's the end of my... Toki. Okay. I'm going to cast point at her and cast tree strike. What does this do? You extend your hand and point a finger at the target in range. Your magic grants you a brief insight into the target's defenses. On your next turn, you gain advantage on your first attack roll against the target, provided the spell hasn't ended. All right, so you have advantage on your next uh, on your next attack. Do I know the defenses? That was part of that. Okay. Insight into the target's defenses. All right, I'll play that game. Uh, she has damage resistance against cold, fire, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks not made with silvered weapons and she is immune to being charmed. Okay. So no claws. Got it. Uh, Mary Pooh. You're next. Yeah. Well, this might come in handy after all. I take my wild magic poured over my crossbow arm, raise it up and shoot the crossbow Bolts okay. With wild okay. Magic so lace. many things we need to take care of with this here. Go ahead and get roll a d100 for me, please. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, let's. Uh, eighty-two. Okay, Orbog. You watch Poo pour this uh, potion over itself, but the magic of it seems to fire off of him and hit you. On your next turn, you, you feel a little bit more spunky and alive a- after getting hit with this magic. On this next turn, uh, you can take a- one additional action and you receive temporary hit points equal to your character level. Not bad, not bad. I'm the Flash. Uh, it's a miracle. Um all right, Pooh, uh, go ahead and roll the three attacks for those crossbow bolts. Yeah. So, first one, that's a critical. F- that one. Oh, that's a two. And that's a five. Yeah, she just waves so. her hand. She just waves her hand, and they all just kind of fall to the ground as they're coming at her. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, and then I will go ahead and. I'll go ahead and run up. Um, and then I will. Puncher, hey, because he's a monk, even though he's not. That's uh, 18 plus 6. That hits. Okay. Um, so that's uh, D6. Keeps going. Uh, that's a 3, so that's 6 damage. Then I'll spend, uh, let's see, bonus. Yep, I'll go ahead and spend a key point and do Fury of Blows. Flurry of blows and attack two more times here. Punch it twice. Okay. Uh, so that one, that's nuts. That's a 10. Uh, that misses. Uh, 11. And that is a f- 18. That hits. And that's a 5. So that's 8. Yeah, so she, she ducks one of your punches, but the other two land, but they're not... It's like hitting a brick wall. They're not really... Yeah doing as much as you were expecting. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting too much. And I whisper, I'll have that body of yours yet. She just smirks at you. Like, she's not even taking any of this seriously. Orbog, it is your turn. Um, what what did, uh, what did Callum do that, that caused damage? I've got magic arrows. Uh, magic arrows. Sorry, bud. If only you had a magic weapon. If only I had spell slots left. Or a magic tattoo. Ooh. Do I have... That's what I was thinking. I don't have a magic weapon, do I? It's just the magic tattoos. Um, I was thinking about ramming into her with the tattoos. <laughs> Bro. Your don't weapon, know that that would... Your weapon <laughs> is magic. It 
It is magic? Okay. Yes. If it has a name, it's magic. That's a lie. Oh. I name all my weapons. No, if it, it no, no, if it comes with a name, I not if you name it. I uh, I, I named my fist. <laughs> yeah. I, again, again, not if you name it, but if it comes with a name. Thoughts and prayers. Let's go. Okay. Yeah. Thoughts okay, and so prayers. I'm gonna <laughs> run up next to her and rage. Oh, and <laughs> go all suicidal. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, well that's your that's your first action. Both of those swings missed, but you have a second action, so go ahead and take two more attacks. That's gonna hit. Uh, go ahead and click on where it says gutter in the chat. The gutter. Yeah. Should I roll again just to see how many times I hit? No, roll your damage, bro. See if it kills her. Maybe she's already yeah. dead. Yeah, I'm sure. It's so likely. Seventeen. Yeah, you take a chunk out of her. That's a nice bit. This actually gave her a bit of a concerned look. Would you say it gave her a bloodied look? No. Oh, okay. Cool. But it, it, this is the first time someone's taken a decent chunk of damage out of her, and so she just... I did some. Uh, go ahead and make your second attack off that action now. Yep. 17 just hits. Okay, it's at 17, everybody. Go ahead and roll damage. Uh, 11. Yeah. She feels every ounce of that hit. And she is not happy about it. Good. I'm going to chop you into a half-breed. Uh, Callum, it is your turn. I'd like to move up here. So I can look her in her eyes. Just right in the eyeballs, you know? Just locking eyes with this lady. And I would like to... One, use my bonus action to cast Slayer's Prey on her, which is my doesn't take a spell slot hunter's mark. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then I would like to draw upon that essence that she wants so much and uh, cast my necrotic shroud so my wings will split out of my back. Ooh. And I need everyone, which is to say... Pooh, Orbog, and her to make a charisma saving throw. Oh, she's got charisma for days. <laughs> Me too. Me too. Actually, she's not bad for charisma. Uh, except that she rolled a six, so... Get scared! <laughs> she is a furred. I got a six, too. You are also afraid of me. Yeah, well... <laughs> Orbog, however, is not. <laughs> Callum, I know Callum. Orbog's like, yeah, it's cool. Dem some neat. Okay, wings. was that your action? That is an action, yes. So she okay. cannot get closer to me at any point. Okay, and I believe her attacks have disadvantage until she's not yes. afraid. Uh, she is friend of me until the end of my next turn. Okay. Any more movement or anything? Nope, I'm going to stay right there. It is her turn, and she is going to do what scared characters are supposed to do and try to run away. Good. Picked this up for my father. Ho, 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 Which means Orbog and Pooh both get attacks of... of uh, Opportunity. Yes. Sweet. I did my best. It's all we can ask of you. This all is all I ask, ask of you. you. Yes, more Phantom. <laughs> theater Geeks Unite. <laughs> I was never in theater. I was homeschooled. That was just a one-man place. Yeah. Co-op. <laughs> That's what co-ops were for. I hit, and I got 19 slashing. 19? With magic. Magic slashing. Oh, you're hitting so hard. Why well, you gotta hit so hard, bro? Why well, you gotta hit so hard? <laughs> Gonna start calling you Ike. All right. Uh, hey! I get 13. 13 to hit. 13 does not hit, so you missed. Yeah, I didn't figure. Who just said hey? It wasn't me. That would be a Someone was like, hey! Oh, I, I made the Ike sound. Which is also very oh, similar to gotcha. the Link sound. Of just the... Uh, hey! Okay, so... Uh, as, as she is... Uh, 
As she is running away, she looks over at Orbog. She points at you, and you feel her kind of start to crawl around in your mind a little bit, and you need to make a wisdom saving throw. Resist. He's so wise. Don't you have to have a mind for this to work? (laughs) (laughs) Why you guys gotta roll so high? Ugh! Yes! Thank you, Keeper. <laughs> I'm not I'm not rolling so high. Uh, yeah, actually, yes. Yes, I like that. Uh, when uh, you, you feel her crawling around inside your mind and, and uh, you hear the Keeper's voice, Not today, you hag. And then you hear a, <laughs> like she just got smacked. And then you feel the presence leave your mind. So, Wilder, what you doing? Oh, yeah, you, yeah. You're making a Shadow Blade? Yeah, I'm going to use bonus action to make Shadow Blade. And then I'm going to... Throw it. Didn't we call non-lethal conversation? Yeah, let's not let's not kill this body. So, thirteen. Thirteen to hit, Dave. Yeah. Uh, that's a miss. Of course it is. So, it, it sails past her, and she goes, "Foolish boy, I will feast on your skin." Yeah, it's the last time I can do that. I said seventeen. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm not moving. Toki, Toki, panic. Toki Toki Literature Club. Um, okay. <laughs> Question. Mm-hmm. Can I throat punch somebody with Mage Hand? Yes. Absolutely. I don't think you can attack with Mage Hand. It. I don't think it specifies mm. that you can or can't. Google it. As we determined in chat, uh. it only takes three pre- pounds of pressure to choke someone. Open and unlock a door. Still retrieve an item, pour the contents out of a vial, move the hand up to 30 feet each time you use it. Can't attack. Yeah. Shame. But you can carry something heavy over her head and drop it on her. There's nothing in the room. 10 pounds of something. Uh, yeah, there's, I assume there's, there's nothing in the room, but. Yeah. I assume there's something in Orbog. the room, right? Are there like things in this room or is it just like an empty space? Huh? Orbog, no. How much do you weigh? <laughs> More than 10 pounds. More than 10 pounds. Dang it. Uh, he's been dieting. <laughs> yeah, I don't have my armor anymore, so I'm like, that's about mm. it. Oh, heck. Okay. I'm going to cast Firebolt. That'll do. Uh, make that attack with your, uh, with your spell attack modifier. 11 to hit. Uh, no, that does not hit. So the, f- the fireball goes past and goes... Stupid kitty. I will hit you. Uh, Pooh of the House of Sanders. Yeah. Of Dusang. Pooh of so, the House of Dusang. I am still... I'm afraid, right, of... You're afraid of Callum. Callum, so I'm gonna m- run towards this lady instead. Um, and I guess I'll... I'm like... I guess I'll I'll just punch her again. Because and I'll mutter something about stupid bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll punch. So, first punch. Second punch. What happened to the first punch? It no, don't worry about that. Okay. It was it was a like a 4 plus 6. Gotcha, so gotcha. Not gonna do. This is 12, 12 to hit. That misses. Yep, so that's both of them. So she um, slaps your hands away as she grins, yeah. and you can see broken teeth inside her mouth. Uh, so then I'll use spend another key point. Try again. Uh, 12 again. Ooh, I should be using... These are not my... I should get some Eric dice, because these are... Uh, oh, does a 16... At sagesportal.com. You know, d- dice from Sage's portals are guaranteed to roll nat 20s all the time, or your money That's back. That's what I hear. That's what I hear. Guess I better grab mine. I just heard Eric groan all the way in Louisiana. <laughs> all right. a, a 16. A 16 misses. What? So, right. yeah, she, she's slapping your hands away, and she goes, Stop it, you idiot woman. It's not me. It's this body. Maybe just saying would mess you up. Watch out, Jadis. Yeah. I'm coming for you. Level 20 druid can... <laughs> yeah, except I'm a level a level 20 druid stuck in a level 
Eight. Bugbear. <laughs> Not even the class, just bugbear. <laughs> or bug. Yeah, I'm gonna run up next to her. And ask her a question. Yep. How how weak is she looking right now? Uh, she's not not very. Or? Um, yeah, she's not like looking savagely wounded right now. If anything, she looks more terrified of Callum. Good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take a bite out of crime. That hits. I didn't know I was in an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. So yeah, you make a solid hit on her and again you take a big chunk out of her and she she's not liking that like she seems to be more she's starting to get as afraid of you as she is of Callum go ahead and make your second attack 16 does not hit so she ducks your second strike she goes you get away from me you half breed Callum it is your turn uh, and then I'm gonna knock an arrow with my plus one ammunition that I'm very quickly running out of because I don't have a whole lot of it. But that's fine. Uh, and shoot her with it. Hi. Shoot her. What's up? All right. Go ahead and shoot. 14 plus six. So a dirty 20. That's going to hit. Okay. So she gets, let me count this up properly. Seven piercing. An extra two okay. from Slayer's Prey. And then eight necrotic damage on top of that. Good God. What's the necrotic damage for? From my shroud. Seven, two, and eight. Okay. Yep. All right. And then I will shoot her again. Another 14. So a dirty 20. That hits. And then seven more piercing. Yikes. So, yeah. After that rough it rough up that Callum just did uh, she sprouts an arrow out of one of her eye sockets and she grabs at it and she starts pulling on it and she pulls she pulls it and it has her one of her it has the eye that it went through stuck on there and she goes I'll make you pay for that I wink at her <laughs> uh, and uh, to my understanding she is no longer afraid of you correct correct she reaches out towards you and starts creeping around inside your mind and go. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw with advantage, please. Me? Yes, you. Pourquoi? Oh, it's not good. Oh, it's not good. That's a 10 with advantage. Oof. Because my second roll so was a nat one. <laughs> Oof. All right. Dad, help! So <laughs> Yeah, so you feel her crawling around inside your mind, you and you hear your dad say, I said no, and then she goes, I said yes. Ooh, mom and dad are fighting. And, she, <laughs> and she, all of a sudden, in front of you, you see Zeos, and you are once again strapped, tied to a, a cell wall with your hands above your head, feeling like you can't sleep. Or you're going to be hit again. And just, her, you know what I'm talking about. Horrific backstory stuff that nobody else knows about yet. And you take a lot. 22 yeah. points of psychic damage. Yep. She goes, stupid boy. Uh, Wilder Filch. Yeah, let me measure things. Okay. Uh, I am going to run up. Uh, not everybody's going to be happy with this. But I. But you're am, Wilder Filch. Yeah, well. Um, I'm going to cast Burning Hands. So, uh, let's see. What's a 15 a foot radius? Um, so, yeah, everybody within a 15 foot radius has to make. That would include yourself, Wilder. Does that include? Or not, not radius, cone. Sorry. 15 foot cone okay has to make a dex saving throw that's gonna be poo and orbog mm -hmm. you're dead to me Rah. sorry guys <laughs> jade has got a 15 Ugh. okay 18 and do does do, do saves get half damage or no damage half damage on successful 
If you succeeded, you take seven points. If you failed, you take 14 points of fire damage. It smells like burning hair suddenly. Sorry, old bug. What about me? <laughs> I'm sorry to Pooh's body. Uh, okay. Toki, you're up. Okay. I am going to cast Chromatic Orb. And I'm going to choose Fire. Okay. So... And... Go ahead and make that spell attack. 18. That's going to hit. Go ahead and roll me the 3d8 of damage. Twenty-one. Yeah, she's looking a little bit rough now uh, that she's taken all this damage. And she goes, maybe we can come to a deal. Yes, you know how to kill Jadis. Perhaps Jadis just gives you the soul of your friend back and we can just leave. Oh, we're not looking to kill you, Jadis. Just relocate. And by the way, Pooh, it's your turn now. Good. I'll take out my staff this time and whack her with it. Okay. So I'll do that. Uh, that would be 18 to hit. 18 hits. Uh, that would be a 6, 9 damage on that one. And I'll go ahead I'll go ahead and uh, spend a key point um, on that. And it will be a stunning strike. So now she needs to make a... Uh, con saving throw, or she's going to be stunned. Woof. Don't you have to hit first before I start I, rolling I, it? I did just hit her. Oh, you're making the first one a stun. I get it. I get it. I get yeah. it. Uh, con. Uh, she rolled an 11. That yeah, doesn't save. She is stunned. Stunning strike is broken. And <laughs> you're hurting then I'm going first. to hit, it, hit her again. Awesome. And that one misses. So. All right. All right. Take some of that. You are standing next to a stunned Jadis right now. <sighs> um, hack and slash. Do her to her manure chewer. Is she... So how is she looking now? Rough. Would you say bloody? Uh, I, I, being as that's not a condition in 5e, I don't know what that means. More than half. Oh, very much so. I would say on a scale of 1 to 165, she's looking like a 24. Very specific. Cool. Just hit. Yes, that hits. 13. I'm sorry. Uh, that's a 13. So you, yeah, you cleave out a giant chunk of her again. And I'm doing it again. I am not calling non-lethal. You are not calling non-lethal. Okay. Ooh. 25 hits. Uh -oh. 18. Uh -oh. How would you like to hit her with this axe? Call your shot, yeah. sir. I just want to hit her in the mouth. <laughs> with, all, with all the nastiness that's been coming out of it. Okay. So here's what happens. You take, you, you take that first shot at her and she looks at it and she goes, I can give you her soul. I can remove Mary from your friend. Just don't kill. And as she's saying this, this axe hits her right in the mouth. And you literally sever the top of her head at mouth level off of her body. And she crumples to the ground. And she, her body evaporates as someone from a different realm tends to do. As she is banished from this plane. And the surroundings of this house come back into view, and you see a row of purple gems along the wall. Fool! I, I'm going to turn to the keeper real quick and go, you can fix that, right? The keeper's not in there. Oh, he's gone now? He wasn't ever in there. He was just helping you uh, from a, metaphys a metaphysical level. Uh, well, I said you can fix that, right? That was a very stupid thing to do. I guess you'll f have your friend's soul back. And I gesture to the gems, but... But it looks like you'll still need a body for him. You cannot use one without head? All right, so what are you guys doing? The fight is over. But is it? Is it? Calif has moved all the She's way dead. to, like, the back corner. 
and is like on the ground. Seems pretty, pretty upset. Um, I'll I'll walk over to the jewels. Can I locate uh, Pooh's soul? Do you have means of doing that? From my time being a a, a soulless embodied spirit. Tell you what, roll perception with advantage. I'll I'll do that for you. Nineteen. <sighs> you guys are always killing my DCs tonight. Okay, so yeah, you you kind of get a sense of the auras coming off these. You feel you feel like you go past one and it's like a it's the weirdest sensation. It's like half a man stacked on top of another half of a man. <laughs> Key. Oh. And then you kinda drift past that and you drift past that and you uh you 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 feel one that feels like Aileen, Aileen for some reason. Hmm, interesting. And then you move past there, and then you feel one that... Yep, that's Poo. Ah, here we go. Here's the one. Well, I guess it's time to make another deal. I know you're not much for that, but uh, you cost me another body, it would seem. And does anyone have anything to say about that? Oops. Waterbug. You can take mine. You're a little short for my taste. (laughs) That's why I'm a half-orc. Because I'm I'm actually completely orc, but I'm only half the height of a normal... Yeah, yeah, yes, of course. Well, I guess I'll be... I'll I'll take... uh, I'll gr- I'll grab um, those those other two gems that I felt stuff from. Okay. Um, and just uh, put them in my pack. Stuff them okay. in there. Well, I guess I will be on my way then. I'm sure I can find use for some of these. We'll find you another body. Oh, you! There was a perfectly good one there. Just oh, let's see. A minute ago. She wouldn't shut up. Yes, well, you seem to have that same problem. Why don't you let us find you another body? Oh, and how are you going to do that? Tell him, can you ask your daddy? (laughs) Oh, oh. Don't know what to do. Let's talk to the keeper again. Yes, you... Comes across the room on the ground. Very. Well, I thought he was going to be able to fix her and stick her head back on. Yeah, well, that's not the way... These sort of people work, Orbog. I don't think any healer in D and D can fix that kind of a wound. <laughs> <laughs> she had it coming. She had it coming. He was raging. No, I get it. And she was no, she was ticking him off. Your you're argument good. sound. So, you're, you're, you you yeah, played, I mean, you played your character. It's like it didn't feel it didn't feel right <laughs> for him to go. Oh, let me be gentle on this one. <laughs> Fine. You want your friend. I want a body. Here. And I toss one of the gems out to you guys. I'll be on my way now. And I start to walk off. Have fun. But how do we know this one's poo? Oh, I wouldn't lie to you. If you ever do find someone, let me know. I'll be around. Where is around? Um, Why don't you just stay with us? We like to keep eye on body. And we'll keep, we'll, hey, we'll protect you, because we want to stick Pooh back in there. Yes, that's true, but you're... Also, uh, you seem to have some lofty requirements on uh, what you're looking for, so if you stay with us for the time being, maybe you could point out a body that uh, fits your needs. For you to kill again? Hmm. That is a fair point, and... um, Obog, uh, maybe uh, Rose doesn't uh, get to come out and play as hard as she played before. Fine. Wait, the did, point did the strangers Mary... just become a murder for hire group? <laughs> I... <laughs> See, um... Steve, this is what happens when you when or, when Gareth doesn't show up. <laughs> as as a as I turn to st- start. Walking away, 
Uh, Callum's, Callum's gonna stand up. Okay. And and uh, as tempted as, yep, go. Call out to Pooh slash Mary. Can you share a body? C- can I share a body? <laughs> what are you suggesting? Suggesting you move to mine. Well. Or or what if Pooh and Mary share a body? That makes more sense. We I get our Pooh back. As tempting as that sounds, uh, he's not the smartest bear. And these paws, well, they're a little rough. I meant for more delicate work. I'm starting to think that my friend here may not be the smartest boy either. Callum, this is, this is stupid. Yes, but Callum does have a certain t- essence about him, doesn't he now? We can find another one. Another Callum? Oh, sure. Callum is one of a kind. Well, you're very serious about this? As serious as I've been about anything. Very, very tempting. Well, you know, this body, as fun as it is, has its drawbacks. I, I I think I might take you up on that offer. If you're, I don't know, gonna share a space in my body with me, can you just make yes. sure that I'm not aware of things? Oh, do a little. <sighs> yeah, I could hold some things back. Oh, anything in particular? You'll know when you're there. Well, this sounds very fun. Let's do it. Oh, and, uh, that's not your friend. And I point at the, um... The crystal? The, yeah, the crystal. He's, uh, this one. And I set it down. All right, let's do this. And I release my hold on poo. Okay. You see a familiar dark shadow blanket come up and out of poo. And it heads towards Callum, and it begins to envelop Callum. But as Mary starts to enter into Callum, she senses there already is a second presence. (laughs) I'm sorry, pardon? There already is a second presence within Callum. I don't like that. And it's angry. It's angry for being noticed. And... Callum, you're you're catatonic as this is happening, so you don't know what's going on. But the rest of you watch as this shadow bursts into flames and incinerates. <laughs> what you hiding there, Callum? Yes, yes, Josiah. You you hear you you hear the most horrific shriek as this shadow burns away to nothingness. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. And then <laughs> times two. <laughs> and then Callum comes to, and you don't feel any different. And you see Pooh's unconscious body laying on the floor. That that was interesting. Gonna rush over to Callum, kind of grab him by the shoulders. Y- you're all right. Are you Callum? I think so. What happened? A shadow came out of pool, floated around, went to you, and went in flames. And and then you woke up again. Is there something you would like to tell us? Was that a trap? No. I wanted her to switch. I Later we are taking you to doctor for head, because I worry about you, friend. But... Dr. Nix is a great... No, um, no, <laughs> no. I know Dr. Nix. He is not good yeah, for Okay, head. first of all, Pooh Poo is unconscious. You didn't hear any of that, so... <laughs> I, I know. I was. That was me saying that. Especially because I'm trying to shove the, <laughs> the crystal in his ear. Are, on, are you on, making contact with, that, with, with the crystal with him? Yeah. Are you literally shoving it into his ear? 
Well, I was going to try to put it in his mouth first. Okay, and is it... If the ear didn't work, then there's another orifice I was going for. Is it? Is it specifically a soul suppository? Awesome. Um, is, is it going to... Uh, are you using the one that she had pointed out that was poo? Yes, and hoping and praying it's not Keith. Okay. So as you... As you bring this crystal close to Pooh's mouth, uh, it begins to light up. And the moment that it makes contact, you see a white mist come off of the crystal and suck up into the mouth and nose of your bugbear friend. And again, you hear this body gasp as it comes awake. (gasps) Oh, oh, no. So I would, I did, uh, I uh, did, uh, have, have any of you seen Keith around here? We were having a conversation about drapes. I did, uh, no. Oh, uh, I'm going to run over and hug the bugbear. Oh, w- Wilder, well, it's uh, very good to see you again. I mean, what has it been of you? Uh, it's, it's lighter out than when I was... Where are we? It's a long story, buddy. Um, can we? Can we go Helm's home? Helm's leaving the building. Y- nobody's gonna loot the. Okay. Toki is going to loot the room. <laughs> T- Toki might <laughs> loot the body. Toki, you find two things as you are looting this room that seem of interest, and I'm going to put them into your uh, journal here. Did you get them, Aelin? Yes. Or I mean, Not Toki. Aileen. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to keep those. Oh, I like that one. You know they're not real, Celeste, right? Doesn't matter. Dragons aren't either, and I really like them. Wait, you got a dragon? (laughs) What? You found a dragon? (laughs) I'm putting the dragon egg into the bag of holding so that we can hatch it later and make it love us. Are you going to tell the party about what you found or not? Not at the moment. Okay. Oh, well, I, I'm just. Uh, um, is the is the other um, stone laying on the ground somewhere? There are two stones s- sitting on the ground. Well, I have one in my pack. Okay, so because then yes, right. there's one. What's that shiny thing over there? Um, I don't quite know. I'm going to pick up the the other crystal. Um, Dave, as you pick up the crystal. Yep. Wilder. You feel a familiar presence. Almost like you're getting a back rub. <gasps> Keith, what a guy. Oh. Oh, the, this is awkward. Um, <laughs> Break it. You know what? I'm going to hold on to this. I'm going to slide it into Aww. my pack. <laughs> Keith. <laughs> well, shall we um, uh, uh, grab some honey? There's, there's not any honey around here, is there? No, I killed her. <laughs> killed who? Hey, let's let's talk on the way. Is there home, any? Buddy. Is there any? I, I, I'm a mite peckish. I mean, being disembodied. Once you're in a body again, your tummy gets kind of grumbly. So as as you guys are exiting the house, having this conversation, you hear a familiar Scottish brogue coming from down the stairs, saying, "So I had a unicorn thing show up and tell me that you needed some help." So here I am. Oh boy. And that's where we're going to end it for this evening. So, hey, uh, glad y'all could come hang out. We had fun doing this. Uh, we're in conversations of about maybe doing this like quarterly where we will call it like a freebie Friday or something. I don't know. It, we're, we're still discussing the logistics of it, but. Uh, we hope you guys had fun. We had fun doing it. We spent the whole day getting hyped. I spent the whole day not paying attention to my workload. So, uh, with that said, uh, does anybody have anything they want to say before we go? Yeah, um, please, if you guys really like this and you want to support what we're doing with playing games, go over to Patreon. Um, we have three tiers, $1, $5, $10. They all come with different perks that we are still trying to fulfill for people. Um, watching us live is currently a $10 perk. So uh, if you really like this and want to, you know, give us 10 bucks a month. Uh, it also it also comes with free birch every six months. So 
we again just thank you so much yes patreon.com slash playing games with strangers um check out the tiers if you like and something, not just the tiers patron, from tonight's that really session helps us out <laughs> and we laughed we cried i cried I moved us bob and also uh for those of you listening in podcast form uh please like rate and subscribe tell your friends about us you have been listening to the playing games with strangers podcast Featuring the voices of John Haryu, Celeste Mora, Dave Clements, Josiah Crandall, J.S. Earls, Catherine Cherwinski, and Steve MacDonald. The theme music was written and performed by Steve Arthur, used with permission. Find more of his music on Facebook or wherever you purchase music digitally. Please review this podcast wherever you download it from to help other podcasters find our podcast and join our community. And once again, thank you for listening.